I'm Miss Rogers. Lately, we've been learning a lot about our science focus, the daytime and nighttime sky. Today, we will talk about things we see in the day and night sky and then put them in a special organizer called a Venn diagram. This helps us to visualize our thinking and it shows the relationship between different things or a set. Now, using a Venn diagram allows you to sort things into two or three circles, which overlap in the middle. I will show you my Venn diagram. Here's my first circle, which represents daytime. My second circle represents nighttime. And in the middle, where both of the circles overlap, I have both daytime and nighttime. So let's get started. Oh my, what a sky. Daytime. What would you see in the daytime sky? Something that's really obvious. It's shining very brightly. Yes, the sun. We would see the sun in the daytime sky. Just make sure you're not looking directly on it or it can damage your eyes. So I'm going to write the word sun sun. Now I put an uppercase S because it's the name of our closest or nearest star. So it should have an uppercase letter. Now what else would we see in the daytime sky? Something on a string blowing in the wind. A kite. So I'm going to write kite. I, t. So my E is telling the I to say its name. So it's K I T E, kite. Hmm, something else I could see in the daytime sky. Something that flies and flaps its wings. <laughs> A bird or birds. So let's go ahead and write birds. B, er. I R makes the er sound. Bird. Birds. Let's think of one more thing that we can see in the daytime sky. How about clouds? Cloud. Clouds. So we have sun, kite, birds, and clouds. Now, let's try our nighttime sky. What do we see in the sky that some people said it was cheese? <laughs> yes, the moon, or some people think it's a gigantic light bulb. It's actually the moon. So I'm going to write moon, m-o-n, moon. Now, when we're looking at the night sky, sprinkled around the moon, what do we see? Stars, <gasps> stars, that's our ST blend. St, st, st. R, A, R makes the R sound. S, stars. Now, what's something else we might see in the night sky. I know I can hear them in the night sky and sometimes I see flashing lights on them. How about airplanes? An airplanes, airplane is a compound word, two words put together to make one word, air and plane. So let's go ahead and write the word air and then plane. There's that long A sound again, airplane. I need one more, one more thing that I can see at night in the nighttime sky. Oh, those little things that flash and they're actually alive. Some people put them in a jar and then let them go. Fireflies, fireflies, that's another compound word. Fire, 
and then flies fireflies so in the nighttime sky we have moon stars airplane and fireflies so we did both our daytime and our nighttime sky now let's see what we can put here that would be from both that we could see in the daytime and nighttime sky let's at least try to find two sun yeah kite not really birds they're usually in their nest by that time <gasps> what about clouds i think i can still see clouds in the nighttime sky so let me pull this up Ooh. And I'm going to put a little more tape on there and I'm going to put it right here. Now, daytime sky, can I see the moon? Sometimes. So since it's sometimes, how about we put that there? Anyway, it doesn't have to be all the time, just sometimes we can see the moon. And I want you to take a close look in the sky and see the next time you can spot both the moon and the sun in the daytime and nighttime, or actually just the moon. What about an airplane? Can we see airplanes at night and in the daytime? Yes, we can. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it, how about I put it on top of moon because sometimes we can see it and sometimes we don't. <laughs> so we're going to put that under there as a mystery. That's something we're going to try to figure out when we could see it at the same time. So there we go with our Venn diagram. We had so much fun organizing our ideas in a Venn diagram. Remember, two ideas or topics and what's in the middle is what's the same about both. So we had fun organizing our ideas and I hope to see you organize some more of your ideas. This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education, the state of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by and by viewers like you. Thank you.